In this last week of Lenten meals, we are plating grace with a Filipino-inspired dish, sinigang. This is a really simple meal, and it's basically going to be a soup that's going to be accompanied with some rice as well. This is so traditionally Filipino, but I'm going to give it a little ump with some uh, coconut milk. And what I've got are a bunch of shrimps here, and I'm going to just season that up with some salt and pepper. And uh, if you notice, I left the heads on them, and I know that kind of freaks a lot of people out, but don't, because that's actually where a lot of flavor is, and I actually de shelled the body part, but I'm gonna use it because that offers a tremendous amount of flavor. So I'm just gonna get this going here with a little bit of sesame seed oil, just a little pinch of it. Why? Because it goes a very, very long way. So let's get the bottom of the pot with just a little bit of oil on it. We don't want a lot of grease. You know, one of the things that uh, this dish reminds me of is the foundation of the family, a very necessary Lenten theme. That's why I actually created something called the Table Foundation, which seeks to tap into the power of food to do good. We're gonna be opening up a cafe that's gonna be a formation house for people that I'm gonna hope to hire and train. People coming out of the prison system, ex-cons, returning citizens, because they've experienced God's mercy, hopefully, when they did their penance, and because of that, they're welcomed back at the table. So now the oil is heated up, and what I'm gonna do is it's gonna basically lay down my shrimp so that I can par cook them. And again, the heads on them allow us to know when the shrimp are fully cooked, but most importantly, it gives a tremendous amount of flavor. So I'm just gonna layer these out and I'm gonna use the shells as well just to give some extra flavor and we're gonna scoop all of that out before we add all the rest of the ingredients. So this technique is just me par cooking the shrimp because it's going to actually sit in the soup itself to create a beautiful flavor. Halfway cooked and they are looking awesome. Now that the shrimp shells have actually flavored the oil, I'm gonna remove these shells and discard them and add to this a whole bunch of other amazing flavors. And so this is kind of like an Asian trinity. I've got some onions, garlic, and some ginger. For the greens, what we're gonna do is use some bok choy. It's basically an Asian type of cabbage. So I added just a little bit of olive oil in this, or you could use regular canola oil. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of onions, and then I'm gonna just create a beautiful base of flavors that again, will surely help to inspire people to learn the lessons from the dinner table and one great lesson and this is a perfect lesson for Lent is respect respect for our elders respect for people who are in positions of authority we may disagree with some of these folks but you know what we still have to learn how to respect them why because the more we respect them the more we can demand that they respect us you know, I think a lot of people forget that respect is a very mutual thing and that can really be learned when you're willing to take the time and respect the sacred nature of the family dinner table. So in goes the garlic and I've got a little bit of this ginger which is gonna go a long, long way and it already smells a little bit like home. You know, in my home, as soon as we came home, the first thing we had to do was greet our parents with a sign of respect, it's called Manopo, where you take the hand and you ask for a blessing by putting it to your head. It's one of those things I was kind of embarrassed to do as a kid when my friends came over, but now I gotta tell you, I love it. And now that we've got these aromatics sweated out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the, the stalky part of the bok choy, because that takes a little bit of time to cook. I'm gonna leave the leaves at the very end. I'm gonna now just start putting it all together. I've got my lemongrass, that you just saw me muddle a little bit. You could just break it up. It's gonna emit some beautiful flavor. Obviously, we're gonna pull that out when it's time to eat. And here I'm gonna do is just simply add some beautiful things, including this seafood broth, and then some coconut cream at the very end. So now that this is all put together in the pot, it's coming to a nice little simmer. I'm just gonna add some more umami, some extra flavor. Just a little hint of soy sauce and a little hint of fish sauce. 
and this adds a natural salt quality to it. I know that some of these recipes may be different and even perhaps even intimidating, but be not afraid. We gotta kinda go out there, which is why we explored some different practices of Lent in different countries. If you really wanna learn how awesome we are as a Catholic church, we are everywhere in the world. So now what I wanna do is I wanna see where you are. Oh, absolutely perfect. I can now kind of remove the lemongrass because it's imparted its flavors. I'm gonna bring this to a lower boil. What I'm gonna do now is add some coconut milk. Give it a little sweetness and a little exotic flavor. And here's where I just simply add the rest of the leaves from the bok choy, just right on top. It's gonna wilt down kind of like spinach. And now I'm just simply gonna return the shrimp right to this pot, bring it to boil so it fully cooks. Serve this up with some rice and let's come to the table. So I know that the shrimp are perfectly cooked because they turn this beautiful orangey color and so I know it's great. And I'm just gonna let this go on a low simmer. At this stage of the game, folks, it's time to do some plating. And what I've got is some rice that I already cooked up in advance. Every Filipino seemed to have rice. Why? Because it's a simple staple food. It's kind of a way to extend the flavors. And so they love to put it in a little bit of a mold. I'm gonna just basically put it in a plate right here. Boom. That way we have a little bit of design action. So I've got my rice plated. I've got my soup kind of around. I'm gonna put a few pieces of shrimp right on top of the rice to give for just a nice little presentation. We are God's children. And because of that, he wants to feed us. We just have to come hungry to the dinner table. And the best way we do it is when we offer a little bit of a blessing, knowing that what we're about to receive is gonna feed us body, mind, and soul. Let me give this soup a little taste with a little bit of the rice and a little bit of the bok choy. Mm. Oh, that's really flavorful. And then you know what? The shrimps just pull right apart. Oh. So creamy, so perfectly cooked. More than anything, it just reminds me of what the power of food can do. So you should check out the Table Foundation. Pray for us, make a donation, and help us to help people who've done their penance to find a place at the table.